we're going to pick up on line 565. Antigone, take me and kill me. What more do you want? Crayon, me, nothing. With that, I have everything. Antigone, then why delay? There's nothing in your words that I enjoy. May that always be the case. And what I say displeases you as much. But where could I gain greater glory than setting my own brother in his grave? All those here would confirm this pleases them if their lips weren't sealed by fear. Being king, which offers all sorts of various benefits, means you can talk and act just as you wish. Creon, in all of Thebes, you're the only one who looks at things that way. Antigone, they share my views, but they keep their mouths shut just for you. Creon. Those views of yours, so different from the rest, don't they bring you any sense of shame? Antigone, no, there's nothing shameful in honoring my brother, my mother's children. Creon, you had a brother who killed fighting for the other side. Antigone, yes, from the same mother and father too. Creon, why then give tributes which insult his name? Antigone, but his dead corpse won't back up what you say. Creon, yes, he will if you give equal honors to a wicked man. Antigone, but the one who died was not some slave, it was his own brother. Creon, who was destroying this country, the other one went to his death defending it. Antigone, that may be, but Hades still desires equal rights for both. Creon, a good man does not wish that what we give him to be the same as an evil man receives. Antigone, who knows? In the world below, perhaps such actions are no crime. Creon, an enemy can never be a friend, not even in death. Antigone, but my nature is to love, I cannot hate. Creon, then go down to the dead. If you must love me, love them. No woman's going to govern me. No, no, not while I'm still alive. We're going to pause here and answer another question. <laughs> 